now officially consecrated after yesterday's visit from the Dunedin Catholic Bishop. The grave in Dunedin Southern Cemetery of Alois Constant Lubetsky has been recently restored in the memory of the Polish prince who fled his homeland following a series of battles against neighbouring Russia nearly 200 years ago. The family had many large estates in the east of Poland. Um, in 1830 he, got, he was an officer in the Polish army and with his anti-Russian stance um, became embroiled um, in the uprising but unfortunately was defeated and went into exile. Paul Kumik of Polish Heritage Otago says Prince Lubetsky eventually made his way to Dunedin in 1863, living in a humble cottage near what is now the university. I believe it's on the corner of George and Union Street was the building and the house they called was called Goff Cottage and on the gate was branded the name Quadno which derived from one of the successful battles that he fought against the Tsarist army. Prince Lubetsky never lived to see Poland gain independence from Tsarist rule as he died in Dunedin the year after he arrived here. In 1918, after nearly, you know, so many years, mm. um, nearly 200 years, regained its independence. And here we've got in Danedin uh, a, a, a person who, who was fighting for free Poland. However, Polish independence was short-lived, with the invasion by Nazi Germany 21 years later, and then becoming part of the Soviet bloc until just 30 years ago. Nevertheless, a restored and blessed grave in Dunedin serves as a record of the many Polish people who immigrated to southern New Zealand. Uh, today is a, 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 a very important day of acknowledging another aspect of Polish heritage of Otago in Southland. The restoration to Prince Lebetsky's grave included repairs to the headstone which was broken some time ago. In Dunedin, the South today.